Day one, the first day of the rest of your life. Oh boy. Uh, room for rent. rent. Uh, it's your partner. <laughs> Howdy, Doc. If we're going to look into this necromancer business, I figure we ought to start with the local cemeteries. Makes sense. Do you know where they are? Yeah, I did some research in the territory cemeteries a while back. Territory cemeteries? Territory cemeteries to see if there was a pattern. You okay? Uh, sorry. Anyways, there's not one too far from here. Uh, the Dave Yard. What do you think we should do next? Am I forgetting about anything? Am I forgetting about anything? Alice says you should see the bartender about renting that room in dirt water. It'd be nice to have a base of operations. Thanks for the reminder. That's a great idea. Um, oh boy, we got a new bar. Alright. Oh, there's a lot of stuff here. Who are these guys? Must have fallen asleep during a fight. Alright. Oh, my partner's in here now drinking. Uh, I see you found the local watering hole. Yeah, it's decent. Let me know if you find a whisking hole, though. <laughs> uh, Bartender, howdy there. Always nice to see a new face in town. Welcome to the Jewel Saloon. Hi, thanks. I'm Taco. Glad to know you, Taco. Folks around here just call me Lloyd. What can I do for you? Nice to meet you, Lloyd. Um, I saw a sign out front advertising a room. That's right. Finest room in the house. Plenty of room for your partner, too. Interested? How much does it cost? Well, this is that's where you're in luck. The previous tenant was a banker fella, and he paid a month in advance right before getting himself killed by bandits. You seem like a decent sort. The room's yours if you want it. Gratis. Uh, wow. Great. <laughs> okay. Free room. Um, hey, Lloyd. Do you need help with anything? If you're handy with mechanical type stuff. Something's gone wrong with our player piano player. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thought the music sounded a little off. Yeah, it's not supposed to sound like that. I'll see what I can do. Uh, poked around in it myself, but I lost the key. That's this is suddenly taking a strange turn. Um, okay, no, I'm still working on it. Um, but give me a shot of bourbon. Oh, nice, it just goes to my inventory. Uh, see you later. Increase your maximum HP by five for the rest of the day, but I can only and I can only oh no, I can drink two drinks now a day. Cool. Uh, Gal doesn't look like she's in the mood to talk. They're engrossed in conversation, leave them be. This is a spittoon, which is sort of a brass bucket that people spit in. I say this despite knowing that you're pretty intimately familiar with spittoons already sick out. Inspect it. Look, this, the Jewel Saloon is pretty nice as saloons go. Actually, glass in the windows, more than two kinds of drinks, a poker room instead of a cockfighting pit. Uh, fun fact, Mark Player made a joke in this game that was so funny that in the next thing the devs made a tribute to him in the main hub. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I, I did see there's a sequel, which um, I'm definitely going to check out after uh, I finish this one. But uh, it's cool. That they, it's cool that the devs actually like recognize the, the people that played it and stuff. Um, spittoon is still a spittoon. The ra rancid tobacco spit inside. It isn't fancy ra it's a ran rancid tobacco spit. Inspect it. So here we go again. All right, fine. You're now hunkered down next to a brass uh, filled bucket which has probably never been clean or emptied because you're near the desert and the ambient humidity around here is pretty low low enough that the spit evaporates nearly as quickly as it accumulates so that's good right no that's bad because it's the only water part of it's only the water part of spit that evaporates the brass bucket is half full of the rest of the spit the toxins uh the joke was that he always dug to the bottom of the spittoon hey that's what i'm doing i dug to the first one i'm gonna dig, dig in this one too the toxins and filth that don't evaporate several years worth distilled and concentrated until it's the consistency of molasses people aren't allowed to flick cigarette butts into the spittoon anymore because they bounce out search it you have to put your hand in the bucket of something that's color and viscosity of maple syrup except instead of maple syrup it's flavored with the inside of mouths people who chew cigars of people who chew cigars instead of smoking them and have never brushed their teeth yeah larp it feels like putting your hand into a bucket of lukewarm tapioca pudding except instead of tapioca it's basically poison it smells like someone ran over a skunk waited a week and then set it on fire it feels like your hands dissolving keep searching let's go you found something you found a tacky filth covered porcelain cow figure a useless disgusting thing that will make a great heirloom for your children assuming you're still able to have any and you hate them uh this item goes in your offhand plus three melee attack damage plus three spell damage wait a minute that seems better than this, right? I mean, this gives me muscle uh, and moxie. But if your muscle is one lower than the bandits, the attack will do two damage instead. 
Hell yeah. I'm, uh, where's that? I'm going to put this in my offhand. How do I equip it? There we go. Um, and are any of these, I mean, five to six, four to five, five to six, three to four. I guess nothing else really does more damage. Um, who's this guy? Old man stares off in the distance, listening to the piano, tries to start to talk to him. He doesn't react to it at all. Uh, piano player is not very good at his job. Let's try to fix him. You lift up the piano player's coat to reveal a hatch on the back that leads to his innards. It's locked, but it's not a very good lock. Yeah, let's try to pick it. You open the hatch and check out the machinery inside. There's obviously something wrong, given all the plinking and springing and clicking noises coming out of the gears and stuff. It looks pretty complicated. Hey, let's... Ah, I see what's wrong. You recalibrate some springs, rearrange some gears, and the machinery starts it's operating smoothly. The music improves immediately. Uh... Why do I want to play this game after looking at it for 10 seconds? Hey, that's how I felt when I first saw it on the... Uh, I kept getting it recommended on Steam, and it just looked so ridiculous. Um, but yeah, I definitely recommend checking it out. Hey, how do you talk? Anything I can do for you? I fixed the piano player. Give me money. Oh, I'll take XP. Thanks a heap. I'd offer you a free room exchange, but you already got one. No worries. Uh, who's that old man by the piano? Oh, that's old Ellsbury. Tragic fella he is. He was a writer and a poet. Came out west to sell his stories, but nobody were buying. Two weird stories. Fantastical like. Uh, too bad. I love that stuff. Well, it don't matter much now anyhow. He had to get normal work to make ends meet. Did passing well as a prospector until one day he lost his mind in a mind. He lost his mind in a mind? <laughs> okay. You what now? You know what I mean. He saw something, something that made him stop telling his weird tales, made him stop talking near completely, come to that. He just stands there by the piano nowadays, seems to calm him down, and as long as he doesn't make any trouble, I don't mind talking too much. Feel a little sorry for him, to be honest. Poor fella. Uh, interesting. Who, can I talk to him? No, still can't. Uh, you guys, these guys are having a spirited discussion about guns and which of theirs is nicer. Uh buy some slop sure what the hell is this increase your max hp by five for the rest of the day all right um science says see bartender for darts okay hey how come they're allowed to drink without hats on oh god they they pulled guns out okay never mind <laughs> um poker room oh rules Poster says, rules of poker followed by hundreds of weird rules in tiny print. Read one of them. A flush beats a flush. <laughs> Deuces are wild unless accompanied by three sevens of diamonds. What the hell? This table is full up. Empty seat at this table. Sure. You sit down at the poker table. A dealer emerges from somewhere in the back, sits down next to you. The lady to your right introduces herself as Ada, and the player to your left says his name is Yancey. Dealer tells you Auntie's 20 meat. Sure. You lose 20 meat. The dealer gives you the deck a shuffle, then deals. A handful, a hand of cards glides across the table to you. It's a pretty decent hand. A queen of spades, an ace, and a pair of one-armed jacks. It's the first round. The pot is 60 meat. You, and you estimate the chances of winning is around 30%. That's a pretty low chance. Gumptiously raise 20 meat to gumption. Um, it's only 30% chance, so let's just check. 5% win chance. You glance at the uh, Ada glances at the dealer reluctantly raises. Bold. Bold them, you always know when to do that. Play another hand. Uh, ante up. Oh no, what? Chance of winning is only 10%. Alright, glamorously strategize. You wink at Ada, she gets all flustered. 20% win chance. Uh, Moxishly strategize. You cock your hat at the at a jauntier angle. Plus 20% winning chance. Okay. Uh, winning is around 50%. Cleverly strategize. Plus 20%. Reveal your cards. Let's go. <laughs> All right, let's try it again. All right. Let's uh, 
Poker stream pong game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is now uh, a gambling stream, just like when I played Dave the Diver. Um, let me see here. Cle uh, okay, I can strategize again to increase it. 60% chance of winning. Uh, forcefully strategize. 80% chance of winning. Uh, and then cleverly. Was there gambling yesterday too? Oh. Oh yeah, there was blackjack as well. Jeez, this really is becoming a gambling stream. Huh? <laughs> uh, cleverly strategize again. That's a hundred percent chance, isn't it? We have reverse Georgia straight. Yancey has a Montana flush. I win. All right, one more time. Ninety meat. I'm only at a ten percent chance. Yeesh. Cleverly raise. That was a bad idea. <laughs> uh, ten percent again. Uh, oh no, uh, 35% chance to win. Ada call, raises call. Oh, oh, I won. I won. Let's go. 270 meat. Uh, all right. Walk away. I, I know when to walk away. I'm surprised the Hex didn't have gambling. <laughs> True. I don't think that. Yeah, there was, there wasn't any sort of gambling in the Hex. Um, Funny enough that the only game that didn't, I guess, so far. Um, what's the kitchen got going on? This is where the chef preps ingredients for cooking. It's also where he parks his beer. <laughs> okay. Uh, top this pot belly stove is a pot full of slop. A pot stove top slop pot. Say that ten times fast. Hey, what are you doing here? Employees only, bud. Oh, sorry. I was just, you know, looking around. So you're the nosy, nosy, t nosy type, eh? Well, I prefer adventure some. And it happens. There's something you can do for me. I'm out of salt. Saltpeter. Uh, I need someone to go pick up some more. Saltpeter? Uh, isn't that used to make gunpowder and other things? Look who's the chef around here. Me or you. Okay, okay. Where can I find it? Your, your best bet's a military camp because it used, it's used to make gunpowder. Shut up. The nearest one's Fort Cowardice. They keep it in little green jars. Even in Cult of the Lamb, you can gamble against the rat. True! There was gambling in that one as well. So literally every single game I've played <laughs> on stream except the hex has had gambling in it that's crazy <laughs> um okay now i know how to get to fort cowardice um the shelf is full of canned and bottled ingredients and boxes of slop helper this lady's too busy washing dishes to pay attention to you all right let's let's check the stage as well nothing going on here what happens if i ring the bell cowbell hit it hit it again All right. <laughs> Always need more cowbell. Um, guest rooms. Can I check my room out? Is this my room? Your room. Nice. Insult yourself. Oh, no. You call yourself a vulture-loving yellow-footed jerk. You gain an effect. Angry. What is that? Oh, I don't see that anywhere. Uh, weird. Okay. Um... But I will increase my I don't know what I should increase actually. Um we will wait then. Insult yourself. You better not insult yourself anymore. If you get any angry, you're liable to pass out. Okay, good to know. Um, you know, I'll increase my gumption. Yes, okay, because then the next level I get an extra max AP. So I need 40 XP next. Uh, what else can I do? Nice view. It's definitely a painting. There's a postcard. Blank postcard. Uh, this is a blank postcard. Maybe you should write to your family back home in case you don't know how the mail works. You send these by going to a building called a post office and giving it to the correspondence wizard who works there. All right. Uh, I don't need to sleep. Oh, angry. You're madder than a hornet. If your anger level gets higher than one, you'll pass out from range. Oh my god, I get plus three to everything though? Damn. Um, let's check other places in town before I just leave, though. Uh, welcome to Dirtwater Mercent- mer mer Mercantile. Uh, whoa, okay. Here we go. Um, read this to learn a new bean-slinging skill? Yes, please. Um, used to discover a new map location if you can find a high vantage point. Dynamite, plum pudding, shovel- I have a shovel already. Increase your speed by one, increase muscle mocks. Okay, increase muscle. Okay. 
definitely buying the bean slinging skill and binoculars. Um, I think that's all I'm going to buy for now, though. The bean craft. Yeah, that's the, I chose bean crafter 100%. I, I, was, I went with bean crafter. It was a hard choice, but um, I mean, like pair of silver cufflinks. I don't know if these actually have any use, so maybe I should just sell them. Um, but then again, I'm, I'm, I'm worried. Like what if everything has like a secret use? So maybe I'll just wait. Who, who knows? Um, yeah, read it. There's a recipe that has been scratched out and replaced with a bunch of paranoid insane scrawlings. Gives weary a skill that increases your maximum AP. Uh, it includes a chapter about making human sized or larger autom automatons and binding them to your will to help with kitchen tasks. Gives you bean golem, a combat skill which summons a powerful golem to fight for you. Um, that seems amazing. The chapter about cooking bean dishes so small that they have to be served intravenously gives blood beans a skill that lets you regenerate health during combat. Oh, but I have the doctor to heal, so I'm going to go with bean golem. Hope that's the right choice. I also just want to summon beans. That seems hilarious. Practice making servants out of beans until you're pretty good at it. Uh, oh, cost two AP. Summon a small bean golem. Unfortunately, one of your early experiments gets a little rowdy and eats the book. Bad, bad golem. That's fine. Uh, and binoculars. I need to get to a high vantage point to use those. Okay. Uh, post office. Let's mail this post, uh, this card I got. I am Taco Balls. Any mail for me? Nope. Nope. Darn. Well, I like to send a postcard. All right, let's have it. You write a quick note to Rufus, letting him know what you've been up to and that you're okay. That'll be, oh, uh, it's one of them prepaid ones. That'll be zero meat then. Thanks. Who's this? This girl, little girl selling flowers. Sure, I'll buy some flowers. Don't know what they're, do they're for. Oh, uh, goes in your offhand, plus 15% st uh, stench resistance. That's good to know. Or clears your throat. Taco balls, yeah, that's what I, that's what I named them. First name Taco, last name Balls. Uh, Audi, are you a sheriff here? No, we don't currently have a sheriff. <laughs> Offer to be sheriff. I could be the sheriff, maybe. Um, do you have any law experience, uh, law enforcement experience? Not really. Have you ever been to sheriff school? No. Do you have an existing relationship with the Dirtwater's local government? Uh, are you familiar with all the local ordinances? Do you even live here? Uh, I uh, no. Wait, I do live here, though. Um, no. Uh, then what, may I ask? In tarnation, makes you think you'd be qualified to be the sheriff. I just assumed, uh, you just assumed that you can mosey into, uh, into town and become sheriff on your first day? Well, when you, when you put it that way... Uh, if I had five meat for every wide-eyed protagonist-looking kid who wanders in here thinking uh, they're the most important tenderfoot to ever strap uh, on iron, I wouldn't need this dead-end clerking job. Sorry. It's okay, like I said, it happens all the time. Offer to help. Need any help until you find a new sheriff? Sure. If you're any good with a gun, there's always somebody in need of some justice. Wanted posters are back there. Cells are over yonder. She points behind her and uh, off to the right, respectively. Wanted. Uh, it's a wanted poster. No, wait, you misread it. It's a wasted poster. Close enough. This poster reads, Wasted. The Stripey Hat Gang. For Grand Theft Paint and Tasteless Hat Vandalism. Last seen in the vicinity of Cavern Canyon. A thousand meat reward. Interesting. Dirty, rotten paint thieves and low down, no fashion sense hat vandals. Despicable. Want to go after them? Sure. Cavern Canyon. Got it. And this one, wanted poster, if accuracy is important. Uh, the House in the Desert Gang. For mortgage on payment, squatting, general public nuisance, also for murdering two collection agents. Let's seen at, uh, last seen at the House in the Desert. Hmm. I wonder if the house is named after them or if they name, they're named after the house. In any case, at least their location is unambiguous. Want to go after them? Sure. Now I'm a bounty hunter as well. Is there anyone in jail? Oh, what is this? This empty cell is all ghostly. Interesting. Um, okay, a lot available. Vacant lot, vacant lot, a lot of vacant lots. Uh, not a lot available past here. Okay. <laughs> oh, I get it. 
not a lot available. <laughs> okay, we have a lot of, let's, maybe let's start getting some bounties done. Find a pair of binoculars hanging on a passing cactus. I already have a pair of binoculars, though. <laughs> Probably the, uh, I mean, a cactus, you're passing. Not a cactus that's passing you. If only It only looked like it's passing you because of your frame of reference. Grab them. Now I have, oh, they're disposable, so you can only use them once. But these will come in handy. They also come in pairs because otherwise they wouldn't be binoculars. <laughs> uh, as you just mount and approach the house where the bandits are uh, holed up, you hear a voice from inside say, what was that? Uh -oh. Looks like you're going to have to be sneaky if you want to avoid a full-on fracas. Sneaky is my middle name. Wait, really? Yes, Sneaky is my middle name. Okay, if you say so. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, did that actually... Let me see. Yeah, I did. That's hilarious. It, it actually changed my name. <laughs> Taco Sneaky Balls. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, and now I'm moving all slowly. It's your partner. Seem like these guys are prepared for intruders. You're going to have to be extra sneaky if you want to avoid a fight. Uh, hmm... Okay, good. Well, I have a sneaky horse. Can he do anything? Let's go. Oh, I don't want to leave. Oh my gosh. I, I really hope I don't just permanently move this slowly now. I'm hoping it's only for this part. Uh, Oh, dang it. The sound of it, you'd say this doghouse contains an angry dog. This doghouse... <laughs> you'd say this doghouse contains an angry dog. This doghouse contains an angry... I'm not going to say that out loud because the dog's going to hear me. You're not going to be able to get uh, get past it without alerting the gang inside the house. You're not going to be able to get past it without alerting the gang. Back off for now. Well, how do I get past it then? Doc, do you have any ideas? Where it's sneaky is starting to sound weird. Yeah, it's one of those things where if you say it too much, uh, what do you think we should do next? Uh, okay, no, no, no. I don't. Any other ideas? Cool. Thanks for the reminder. Um, I guess am I just gonna have to fight this dog, or can I? I'm gonna try to sneak by. Just no. Uh, weigh your options. I just have to fight. We're just fighting everyone. Who cares? Um, fuck it. Summon a bean golem to fight. Let's do it. <laughs> Forty health, ten muscle. Damn. Uh. Four to five damage if I shoot, nine to ten if I do melee, twenty damage to the target. The legendary tail of Taco Sneaky Balls. <laughs> oh boy. Uh oh. This guy's this guy's name is Art House, Coffee House, Rufus Rough House. Uh okay, let's take out the one with the least health first. So let's attack you. Minus ten, nice. Uh scatter gun blast. Each opponent will take three damage. Patch up. The target doesn't need any healing. Okay, so yeah, each opponent will take three damage. Sneaky ball sounds way too wrong. It does, but hey, listen, I'm not the one who added sneaky. You'll never take us alive. Also, we'll never pay for this house. Oh my god, they're, they're killing my bean. Oh my god, at least they're all focusing on the bean. Oh, and he just attacks on his own. Um, can I five? Okay, so this one has eight, so I can kill him. Let's go. Uh, can I heal the bean? Oh, I can. That's hilarious. <laughs> nice, and they keep attacking the bean. I don't know if there's like if there's a reason they're only attacking the bean, but I'm not complaining. Uh, kill coffee house, and then just heal the bean again, I guess. It doesn't even cost any AP or anything to heal? That's so sick. I'm glad I took the doctor. And then you're just gonna kill him. Imagine getting killed by a floating beam. <laughs> uh, justice has been served to the old house gang. You gained 30 XP. Uh, you got an item, bag of ears. Uh, got an item, desert gang, six gun, and a black hat. Hooray. Uh, plus one armor? No, I'm keeping my mysticality hat. Uh, I will equip this gun though. I think that's better. Six to seven. Oh yeah, definitely better. Um, and what was the other thing I got? Um, uh, oh, bag of ears. You didn't feel like carrying the entire house in the desert gang back to town. So you just took a few bits. Right. Oh, and now I'm moving fast again. Can I go in the house now? No, really? Aw, I can't even go in the house in the desert. That's so disappointing. All right. Dog has wandered off in search of some better masters. All right. 
Um, oh, ouch. Uh, let's go, Tina. Let's go back to dirt water. Skeleton approaches you. Uh, he's still called Sneaky. Oh, I'll check after this. I, I didn't even think. Uh, sneaky Skeleton approaches you in that jittery stop motion-y way that skeletons do. Judging by its hat, it appears to be the skeleton of, bean, of a bean slinger. <gasps> Whoa, you remember the classic saying, old bean slingers die like normal people, but sometimes they keep walking around and casting spells at you afterwards. Uh, I'm going to fight them because what if they like drop a bean slinger spell or something? Um, I'm going to summon a bean and we're going to, uh, whack him with a sword. Oh, so, and then shoot him for three damage. Um, oh, hell yeah, bean. Uh, oh, bean stained pants. That might be good. Skeleton bone. Nice. Alice studies the remain of your undead foes as well. Uh, let me see. I am still called Sneaky. All right. Um, Bean Golem, 100 XP to level it up. Jeez. Oh, but I have 40 to get. I was going to get, yeah, Gumption, because it'll give me an extra AP point. So now I can do the Golem and something else, which is good. Uh, Skeleton Bone doesn't do anything. It's uh, obvious yet. Um... And beans. Oh, I just equipped them. Plus three spell damage. Let's go. That was so worth it. Um, <laughs> let's go back to here. Um, do you need help with anything else? Nope. Everything's right. Is rain here? If you're looking for work, you might ask the jailhouse. Okay. Can I get some darts? Hmm. At the sign of the dartboard says C for darts. Oh, sorry. All the darts got broken months ago. That's disappointing. Oh. Okay. Um, do you have anything new to sell? Nope, just the same old stuff. Uh, well, I want to get paid for uh, the bounty. Give her what's left of the Desert House Gang. Uh, house in the Desert Gang. I'll take your word for it. Good job. 500 meat. Let's go. Oh, and another wanted poster. The Pot Potemkin Gang. Uh, for unlicensed civil engineering and flaunting of construction regulations, let's last seen an under-registered settlement north of Dirtwater. This shows a location. Doesn't show a reward though, but I'll I'll, I'll do it anyways. Um, what's the next closest thing? Dave Yard for Cowardice Cavern Railroad Camp. Oh, and the gang's all the way up there. Um, is there any? No, there's nothing else here. Well, let's. Head to the, the Dave Yard, because that's where the doctor wanted to go. As you turn a corner, uh, as you turn a corner, you come face to face with three bandits pushing a large barrel marked TNT down at the trail. Four of you stare at each other for a moment, unsure of how to deal with potentially violent happenstance. Die for cover and fight them? Ride the heck away. Oh, because I have the dark horse. Yeah, just ride away then. Your horse is even less willing to stand near a barrel of gunpowder than you are. It's already galloping away. Yeehaw. Yeah, I'm, I'm not trying to get blown up. Um, it's your partner. Don't like this. Don't like, uh, like one bit of this. Well, if we're going to hunt down that necromancer, this looks like a good place to start. Watch out for those pile of bones. Piles of bones. I can tell just looking at them that they're ready to jump up and fight. We'll be ready. Uh, here lies Dave B. Died with his boots on, but not his pants. Let's dig up the grave. Hey, he got boots. Plus one AP? Nice. Um, the remains look pretty restless. Let's put them down for good. Um, oh, this is Dave. I'm guessing, uh, that it's the same one. So, oh, now I have four AP points. I could do that. I can also, do I even need to gain armor? Cause he's just going to attack the bean. So let's just fireball him. Oh, uh, and shoot him with a shotgun. Oh my god, Bean's gonna kill him. <laughs> uh, gold Tooth. Alice studies the remain of your undead foes. Nice. Dave C. Oh, okay. Are they just, are they all? Oh, this is the Dave Yard, so they're all called Dave. Right. Dave J. Rap, pop, pop, pop. <laughs> all right. Uh, got the jump on him. Oh, because my speed's high, I bet. Um, 
Oh yeah, it is really important for me to go first because then I can summon the beam and attack before they can do anything. See, I feel like I feel like this is the kind of game where the difficulty might just spike at any moment. Like right now, this obviously seems really easy. Al surveys a scene, jots some notes down in a little notebook. But I feel like it's just gonna get like really crazy difficult at some point. Here lies Dave L, died of a heart attack. C minus 36 years. Dave G. Well, he was looking to the sky to save him, but even the sky can't save a feller from like 40 angry bears. Uh looks like the grave digger left his lunchbox here. Oh boy, free lunch. Vienna blood sausages, thermos of spiked coffee. Increase your speed by one for the rest of the day. Interesting. Uh, a smart looking skeleton. Deploy a bean golem. Lava fava. Oh, fava bean, I get it. Oh no! Was, was I not supposed to take the lunge? Uh oh. Oh, don't tell me I messed up. Uh, gold tooth. Oh no, was I not supposed to take it? In similar games you play, this is similar to Dark Souls 3, so you never know. Uh-oh, uh-oh. So yeah, maybe it does just get really crazy difficult. Oh, this guy was murdered by Dave G. A uh, pile of bones that isn't moving around for a change. Dig through it. You got a skull with an odd tag on it. Uh, this skull has a little paper tag which says, Inter Cemetery Loan on one side, uh, and some notes on the other. The tag on the skull is a serial number. It says it was borrowed from the submission catacombs on... February 19, 1886. Jeez, this thing is really late. Back of the tag has a catacombs address on it. Old mission. Skulls. Check them out. Okay. Oh, like, it's like a library for skulls? Uh, the Daveyard Mausoleum. Oh, can't search through those, that bones. It's one of those things, they have mausoleums, you know, one of those big marble things with drawers full of skeletons? Open one or open a whole bunch? Open a whole bunch? <laughs> Screw it. Let's do it. Uh, wait, can I only do this once per fight? Yeah, okay. I was going to say, if I could do two golems, that'd be crazy. Uh, which one has the least amount of health? This one. So I can attack you first. That's funny. It says this is similar to Dark Souls. Um, yep, just everyone attack the bean. Don't attack anyone else. Oh, no, he's attacking me. Oh, seven spooky damage. Um, shoot, you know what? I'm just gonna maybe I'll armor up. I should have probably done this first last turn, but uh, and then I'll kill you. And Witcher three as well. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Steam might just be confused. They do say a lot of games are. Uh, uh, oh, this guy's negative five HP. I could still attack him. Yeah, sometimes Steam's recommendations are just weird sometimes as well. Oh, what? The armor didn't protect me at all? Um, oh, I should have healed instead of shoot. That was a bad idea on my part. Yeah, let's heal myself, please. I'd imagine just losing right now. Yeah, good thing I healed. And you're dead. Okay. Victory! Skeleton bone skull chips. Um... Her eyes light up. She's an epiphany of some sort. Alice has become stronger. Oh, nice. Uh, what the hell is this? Big stone sarcophagus. Some kind of ritual circle drawn in the ground in red chalk. Uh, it's a pile of mostly burned rags that maybe used to be a person. Investigate. Uh, you dig the rags, find new things, look at the worth keeping. Gore, splattered scroll, human ashes, some kind of receipt. Robe receipt. <laughs> Received for the delivery of 150 black silk robes sounds pretty ominous. Yeah, in the time you started gathering clues about the whole perambulating dead situation that's gone on around these parts, grab a notebook and paperclip and receipt for the first page. Necromancer journal. Uh, imagine dying because you got tapped on the shoulder by a bean the side of your head. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just imagine dying to a bean at all. I mean, is pretty. Uh, it's a pretty hard thing to imagine. Um, let's read the journal. You open a necromancer journal, examine the information collected so far. You found a receipt for delivery of robes. Uh, right. Okay. Surcharge for delivery pass, boulder pass. Necromancer's layer is definitely west of the mountains. 
Good to know. What else did I get? Human ashes. This is a human in the final stage of the whole ashes to ashes thing. Well, part of one at least. A human gets harder to keep track of when it's in powder form. Uh, it's the cremated or the remains of a person. Somehow they'll refer to these as cremens, but you do not approve. <laughs> People have choked on memes before. That is true. Uh, I mean, the, the probability of dying to a bean every day is, is it's more than 0%. So uh, I can't ever be certain. Uh, let's scatter the ashes. 10 XP. Nice. Uh, gore splattered scroll. It's almost too covered in blood and with Sarah to read. Luckily for you, you've gotten all that practice reading inside a dog. Read it. Scrape the largest of the giblets off the scroll and read it. It says to take a pile of human ashes, spread them out in the shape of a person inside a red chalk ritual circle, then sprinkle them with stardust and place a mostly perfect or better glass sphere where the heart would be. Anyways, that's the gist of it. The actual text is a lot more these and thous and such as like that. Plus, there's a bunch of weird gibberish you're supposed to say out loud while you're doing it. Uh, okay. I mean, do I have the stuff for that? Glass sphere. No, I don't have that. Okay, skull chips. Sure. Um, weird. Oh, perform the ritual. Of course, you don't have any human ashes on you. No! I spread the ashes. I mean, I didn't have the glass sphere of Stardust anyways, so I don't, I don't think I can do it right now anyways, but... Um, Anyways, that's the Daveyard then. Oh, you stupid. <laughs> what? I, you know what? I, I, I didn't know I would need them. You know, I got 10 XP for spreading them. I don't, I don't care. It's worth it to me. Um, you're groaning noise, short, uh, groaning noise a short distance away and investigate. A cow poke is sitting against a rock with his leg bent in a way that seems incorrect. What happened? Dang horse threw a rod and I fell off. I think I busted one of my dancing arms. Um... Oh, look, it's also Satan tomorrow. Yeah, I'm sure I'll I'm sure I'll find more human ashes anyways. <laughs> uh have Alice fix them up. I think can help this guy doc wouldn't be much of a doctor if I couldn't fix a busted dancing arm. Alice grabs some gauze and stuff from her bag and sets and splints the cowpoke's leg. Woo ee, there's uh that's some fine work. Many thanks uh, my thanks to you, Doc. Don't mention it. Nice. Uh let me see. I think I have a lot of XP. 118. Oh, I can level up the bean golem. Summons a smallish bean golem instead of a small bean golem. Oh, would it be stupid to just spend all my XP on the golem? I'm kind of tempted. Um, I'm doing it. Bean golem. <laughs> uh, and then I even have enough. You know what? I'll also get some grit because... I, my HP actually got pretty low in that last fight, and it got me scared. Um, oh, I'm here to get the saltpeter. So, uh, can I climb this? Climb up to the watchtower and take a look around. Nice view. Hey, use your binoculars. You discovered Butterfield Ranch. Climb down from the watchtower and pitch the binoculars in a nearby trash can. All right. Why, why are they one use only? That's just hilarious. Um, cabin is mostly empty, but there's a handful of boring personnel records in the back of one drawer. Examine them. They're incredibly boring. No, really, I want the details. Fine, you read one. Becky Smith, secretary, pay grade, C3, uh, good sick day, satisfied. No, another. Ezra Wolf, two, uh, killed in action, satisfied. No, another. Is just going to go on and on and on. Now you're just looking at the same ones you've read before. What is wrong with you? I can't get enough. What happens if I keep going? Does anything change? No. All right. Uh, this was once a reception desk, but now the most appropriate thing for it to receive would be a free trip to the dump. Uh, oh, I don't have any needles. In general, uh, this is a door. More specifically, it's the door to the general's office. Even more specifically, it's the locked door to the general's office. Uh, still some good mess left. Military grade whiskey and a hard tack. Oh, increase your armor by five for the rest of the day. A uh, spice rack. Hey, got saltpeter. It's in the spice rack, though. That's funny. Um, okay. Well, maybe I'll come back with a needle at some point. Mess hall. Wait, is this not the same building? It is the same building. What? Uh, you hear the sounds of several goblins snoring inside the tent. Uh, 
I'll leave them be for now. Uh, based on the papers and anatomical diagrams scattered across its surface, you're guessing this desk belonged to Fort Cowardice's as nurse. Look at the papers. Mostly boring medical records, dental... I'm not even going to try to say this. Uh, lamin lamentations and that antibiotics haven't been discovered yet. What well, That kind of thing. Hey, wait, what's this? Looks like it might be important. Marching orders. Uh, guns blazing. I I might I might just attack them. They, they probably have some stuff. Uh, there's a bunch of disgusting drawings of sliced open bodies. Ugh. Shelf saw some unlooted medical supplies on them on it. Render it, it looted. Uh, Army fill trauma kit restores 10 HP. I mean, I got a doc to do that already, but uh, I'll take it anyways. And the marching orders, instead of army marching orders from before, all the army's marching orders were just march back east just as fast as your lily livered little yellow bellied feet can go, you damn damnable cowards. Uh, oh, got directions to Fort All Dead. Was there anything else that I got? Uh, I thought there was something else on that that I got from the... Oh, maybe there's more whiskey. Uh, it's a safe, requires safe cracking, controlled substances. Whoa, okay. If I ever get that skill, maybe I'll come back again. Uh, what's this? Sign has the goblin word for toilet on it. Right, because I can read goblin. Sign says toilet and goblin, which makes it seem pretty likely the goblins use the tent as a toilet. No way are you going to go in there. Boo. <laughs> Is that? I usually sign's cannonball. Oh. You got an item. Demi Culverin Cannonball. Need to fit a demi culverin, a cannon with a bore diameter of 10 centimeters, no demi less, no demi more. No demi more. <laughs> Yikes, I have to think I get someone fired. All right, let's, uh, give me some vibes. Yeah, it sounds like uh, it's going to be a fort full of skeletons, but all right, goblins. Let's go. Oh, they got a, yeesh. All right, let's see this new and improved bean golem. 60 health. Let's see how much damage he does when it's his turn. Uh, I still have two. So let's do some armor. And then they all have like the same amount of health. Uh, but these guys take more damage if I do it to him. So 12 damage. Uh, oh, each, oh, she leveled up. Each one will take five damage. Does she heal more too now? I wonder. Interesting. It's, oh, still 15 damage, though. That's, uh oh. No, don't attack us. Ah! 22 damn. Oh my, he just one shot that guy. Uh, how's your health, Doc? 11 out of 18? He'll be fine. Uh, hopefully. So there's only going to be one attack here. Dancing in confidence. <laughs> um. Can she heal herself? She can. Oh, and now she heals for 15. Yeah, that bean destroyed him. Oh my god, her, she's so useful. I'm so glad I took her. She can heal 15 every turn. 25 damage? Holy. You heroically defeated the sleeping goblins who were guarding their beds, so they didn't even have anything. Oh, wait, I can go inside. Uh, an unlocked footlocker. I guess that just makes it a footer. Incendiary bullet, military grade whiskey, sets an enemy on fire. Oh, I don't have a needle. Uh, locking this footlocker has rest away to almost nothing. Kick it open. Smelling salts. Gives you an additional action point when using combat. Invest everything in the bean. I might just have to, honestly. That was a uh, oh, 300 I have to save up, though. Yeesh. I mean, probably worth it, though. I mean, uh, I might be tempted to also level some of my other skills, though, but uh, so that's everything from the fort. What is, what's the nearest thing to me? The cavern. Let's just keep going from place to place. Uh, you spot an old mine on the horizon. Abandoned mines are safe and fine.